Fable of the Third Planet, a story told to children in the future about a planet and its people long ago. Once long ago, the third planet from the sun was called Earth. Earth was an amazing place where people of all colors roamed freely with their clean air, blue oceans, and tall, tall mountains. There were lots and lots of happy children. There were beautiful creatures of all kinds. The animal creatures lived on the land, and the water creatures lived in the giant seas. Rivers that ran throughout the land were filled with life as well. Life and the waters were connected because the rivers flowed to the seas. The people and creatures lived together on Earth, even though they lived differently. It was a very nice world because everyone, even the animals and the creatures that couldn't speak, knew that the manner in which they lived affected the lives of all the others. Some say that each living thing had its own song on Earth. Even the trees had songs, and they could be heard singing in the wind just before the seasons changed. Birds sang mostly in the early mornings. Frogs like to sing after the rains. The water creatures had special songs, especially the whales and the dolphins. These songs made all living things smile. Earth started out as a very peaceful, clean, and organized place. There was a place and a way for each and every kind of creature to live and be happy together. There are tales about the huge animals that lived on Earth. There were giant bears of all sorts. The bears were hairy animals with big teeth and sharp, sharp claws. They came in different colors. The big white ones lived where it was cold, and they especially enjoyed the beautiful oceans. Speaking of oceans, that is where the biggest creatures lived. They were called whales. Whales would travel far and sing whale songs while they were swimming miles and miles from ocean to ocean. Elephants were really big. They lived on land but didn't have much hair. They had extremely long noses and huge ears. They loved their families and children, just like other animals did. They also sang songs as they traveled. All the animals had a keen sense of the importance of the planet for their survival. They knew that they needed to live and care for one another. All of the creatures had this knowledge, except the people of Earth. It wasn't the big hairy animals or the huge monstrous whales that became mean and began to destroy their planet. It was man. This becomes a very sad story. For you see, some of the people became greedy. Very, very greedy. They started killing the big animals that loved one another. The songs stopped. Man started destroying the oceans, the rivers, and the sky. The living creatures soon had nowhere to swim and nothing to eat. They tried to cry out and tell the people to stop. Even when the creatures were covered with the blackest oil and they couldn't swim and the seabirds couldn't fly, man did not stop destroying the oceans. Over time, all of Earth's oceans grew dark. All of the sea creatures died. The black waters filled the rivers that once flowed throughout the planet. The beautiful planet named Earth, where people and animals once lived together, was destroyed. Completely destroyed. You may wonder why the kind people on the planet didn't speak up and stop the greedy people from doing such harm. Why didn't they protect their planet? We will never know because they are all gone.